Okay, salamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing how to de- divide radicals. Okay, so dividing radicals would be um, very similar when it comes to um, multipli- multiplying radicals. Okay, kasi in, di- in multiplying radicals we are adding the exponents, right? I, I mean, ano, when we multiply uh, with um, same bases or um, different bases or same um, like uh, indices you know we are just simply ano, expressing our given in fractional exponents so that we can easily manipulate it using the loss of exponent okay so that is what we do but in this case again um, what we will be discussing more would be how to divide um, radicals with same um, what do you call this with same indices even though we have different um, we have different bases, okay? Kasi the same goes when it comes to multiplying. If the indices are the same, evaluate only the numbers inside. Like, for example, square root of 2 times square root of 3. It's equals to square root of 6. Multiply the numbers inside. The same goes when it comes to dividing. Just simply divide the numbers inside. Say I have square root of 10 divided by square root of 2. So the answer here would be square root of 5. Because 10 divided by 2 is 5, Okay? Another example, say I have square root of 6 divided by square root of um, 5. So the answer would be square root of 6 over 5 because we cannot divide 6 and 5. But then again, you can just put it inside. Okay? But be wary about this kinds of given. Okay? I will show you later why this is not allowed. Okay? And we are not allowing this one. Okay? So next one, say I have um, the square root of um, x raised to 9 divided by the square root of x cubed okay before you actually simplify that what we can do here is we can um, divide this one directly okay and if we are dividing remember copy the index or the radical and then just divide the numbers inside but if you are dividing um, bases with the same I mean given with the same bases but different exponent di ba nga po sabi natin Yan, just like this one, the loss of exponent, m minus n. And what would be um, 9 minus 3? The answer would be x raised to 6. Okay, and x raised to 6 can be simplified as x cubed. Bakit x cubed? Diba? Divide, 6 divided by 2 is equal to x, I mean 3, yes, remainder 0. So, walang matitira sa loob, may lalabas na x cubed. Cube. Okay, so we have that. Let's have another one. Um, say we have 20 square root of 15 divided by 4 square root of 3. So what do we do? We divide them as is. Pero yun nga, we treat the radicals, di ba sabi ko? We treat the radicals as the variable. So we divide the numbers as is. 20 divided by 4, the answer is 5. But as for the radical, we divide them also inside. 15 divided by 3, the answer is simply 5. So, we have 5 square root of 5. Okay? And, let's have our last one, last example, being um, 4 um, cube root of 15. I don't know. Let's, let's make it bigger. 1 to 8 divided by 12 cube root of 2. Yeah. So, again, what do we do? We divide the numbers as is. 4 divided by 12, we will have that. I will not re- write it down immediately. And then we will have, since they are both cube roots, so we will have 1, 2, 8 divided by 2. Okay? And 4 divided by 2, the answer is 1 third. And in this case, 1, 2, 8 divided by 2, the answer is 64. So we will have the cube root of 64. But, 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 then again, 64 is a perfect cube number and if you you will try to search for that it's actually equals to 4 okay and 4 times 1 third is simply 4 thirds okay and that is how you divide um divide radicals and it's very basic lang first a, a given natin first kind of given and also the successive kind of given we just simply divide the numbers as is the numbers inside. So, we copy the radical, this one, and then we divide the numbers inside. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 6 divided by 5 is 6 over 5. 
this one x raised to 9 divided by x cubed is x raised to 6. Simpli sinimplify lang natin, then we will get x cubed. Okay, and then of course we have 20 square root of 15 divided by 4 cube root of 3. I square root of 3 would have divide the numbers inside, 15 and 3 is 5. And divide the numbers outside, 20 divided by 4 is 5. And we also have this one. Same lang po dapat ng inyong radical and index. So, cube root pa rin. 4 divided by 12 is 1 third. 1 to 8 divided by 2 is 64. But we have the cube root for 64 which is 4. And 4 times the number outside which is 1 third will give us 4 thirds. And that is how you divide um, radicals. Okay? We will not deal more with, dif uh, with different cases of radicals because it would complicate things. Okay, I would leave the ano, the manipulating of that to you guys, but I will not give anything like that. Okay, so let's have a note of this one. This is not allowed. And in our next topic, we will discuss how we will evaluate this kinds of given. Okay, so kung eto na yung sagot mo, how will you make this one as an acceptable answer? Okay, so that would be all. If you would have any other questions on our class for today. You can review the video or ask me in our um, synchronous class. That would be all. Thank you for listening and Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.